Do you remember Deshaun Watson while he was at Clemson? How he won a national championship and was a wizard on the field. And he did so while having to carry a weight that no one else on his team had to carry. A weight which Dabo Sweeney gave to him. Today, I'm going to tell you the story of how Deshaun Watson, Dabo Sweeney, and the Clemson Tigers created the best way to wear a retired number. So let's go back to 2015. I remember watching Deshaun Watson on TV just destroy defenses, obliterate them week in and week out. He dominated the ACC and went on to college football playoffs and won a national championship in 2016. And so he was in the spotlight a lot. And watching his games and watching his highlights and watching the big games especially, I noticed something on his jersey that nobody else at Clemson had. It was a patch on his sleeve, and it said Fuller, with a Clemson paw and maybe a couple other things. So I looked for a similar patch on other players, and I couldn't find the same thing. But because Deshaun Watson was so good, I had to figure out what it meant, because it had to mean something, right? I was curious about it. And so I did what any good researcher does. I googled it. And what I found was that that patch on Deshaun Watson's jersey that read Fuller was the name of a former quarterback at Clemson who wore the number four. His name was Steve Fuller. Steve Fuller was the quarterback at Clemson from 1975 to 1978 and wore the number four. And at his time at Clemson at quarterback, he went on to two bowl games, lost the first in 1977, which was the Gator Bowl against Pittsburgh, and won the 1978 Gator Bowl and brought Clemson an ACC championship that year as a senior. Clemson won that 1978 Gator Bowl 17-15 against Ohio State. Ohio State's head coach at the time was Woody Hayes, and yes, that was the game that Woody Hayes punched the Clemson player. So Steve Fuller has seen some things, and I might just leave it at that. So he finished his career at Clemson a legend and had his number retired in the 1979 spring game at Clemson just a few months later, for the number four to never be worn by a player at Clemson again. Steve Fuller was inducted into the Clemson Ring of Honor in 1994, and he went on and had a pretty good career, a great career, in the NFL and won a Super Bowl. Now fast forward to about 2011 or 2012. Steve Fuller would annually play in a golf tournament that also had the head, current head coach at Clemson, Dabo Sweeney. And Dabo had a plan. See, Dabo was recruiting a kid named Deshaun Watson, who was, uh, at the time, I believe, sophomore in high school. Deshaun Watson in high school wore the number four. And so, for three, a three-year period, um, every year at the golf tournament, Dabo would mention a little something to Steve Fuller. One year, he mentioned to Steve Fuller about how teams are starting to figure out ways to blend the old school players with the new school players and rigging numbers out of retirement to be wore on the field. Fuller was like, yeah, okay, that's pretty cool. Left it at that. So the third year of Dabo doing this, around 2014, maybe the end of 2013, Dabo told Steve about this kid who was committed to Clemson named Deshaun Watson and how he had worn the number four in high school. Dabo requested to Steve Fuller to see if Deshaun Watson could wear that number four at Clemson. Steve Fuller said, well, tell me about the kid. And Dabo reassured him and told him about Deshaun and how good of a kid he was. And once Steve was uh, reassured of how good that this kid was and that nothing bad would come up upon the number or upon Clemson or upon the kid, uh, Steve Fuller agreed for his number, to, number four, to come out of retirement. A couple weeks later, Steve Fuller talked about how Deshaun Watson had called him and they had a good conversation. And Steve Fuller felt very, very reassured that he had made the right decision to give that number to Deshaun. So then before the season, Steve Fuller received a package from Clemson and Dabo Sweeney. And it was the newest number four jersey from Clemson. And this jersey had a patch on it. See, the patch was completely and wholly Dabo Sweeney's idea. And maybe part of it was because he had to convince Steve Fuller to bring that number out of retirement. I'm not entirely sure, but the idea was entirely Dabo's. So that patch had his name Fuller on it, had a Clemson Paul, the number four, 
and the years that he played at Clemson, 1975 and 1978. And that patch was worn on Deshaun Watson's uniform for, as far as I'm concerned, every game that he played, and even on the practice field. So the number was Steve Fuller's gift to Deshaun, and the patch was Dabo's gift to Deshaun. Well, and also kind of the number, because he had some convincing to do there, but you get the idea. Deshaun Watson wore that number, that jersey, and that patch with honor and with valor, and he gave the ultimate gift back to Clemson, Dabo, and Steve Fuller. He won a national championship, the first since 1981, during his last game as a Clemson Tiger. That is the ultimate story and the ultimate thank you for bringing that number out of retirement. And the reason it's the best way to wear and bring a number out of retirement, the reason for this video, is because of that patch. See, it honors the player, the current and former. It honors the number, it honors the school. It honors the ones that did that, and it's visible. Especially for a team like Clemson, who you see nationally. And you see that patch and it makes kids like me look and want to figure out what that means out of curiosity. We want to find out, and then we know about Steve Fuller, who came before in the 1970s. What he did, how great he was, what he meant to Clemson, and what it means currently to, to Deshaun, and how it ties the story together. History of college football. I think it's a great thing, and it honors a lot of people. The best way to do it. See, if you bring a number out of retirement to be worn on the field, without any kind of homage paid like that, then nobody really remembers if you're not from that school. And that's why it's the best way to wear a retired number. But the story's not over. Because unfortunately, it doesn't always have a happy ending. Enter a kid named Tavian Feaster. If you're from South Carolina and a Clemson fan, you probably know who this is. Otherwise, just listen. Tavian Feaster grew up in South Carolina and played running back in high school, wearing number 28. And Tavian Feaster, in 2016, or 2015, committed to play at Clemson. And he wanted to keep that number 28, but it also had been retired at Clemson. The previous owner of the number 28 at Clemson was C.J. Spiller. He played at Clemson from 2006 to 2009. And his number was retired in 2010 also the year after he left Clemson. Spiller also went on to play in the NFL, but didn't have quite as much success, and I believe his last season was 2017. But there was a reason that they retired his number in 2009 after his senior year. And that was also Dabo Sweeney's first full year as the head coach of the Tigers. So definitely a lot more recent, and therefore seems harder to come out of retirement. Nevertheless, Tavian Feaster and C.J. Spiller talked, and Tavian Feaster requested to wear the number 28. C.J. Spiller said, let me think about it, talked to his family, um, but came back, and even though it had only been, well, less than 10 years, really just barely more than five, C.J. Spiller granted Tavian Feaster to wear the number 28. But again, came with some guidelines, came with some honor, um, and things that he expected Tavian Feaster to hold up, as a human and as an athlete. Tavian Feaster was a freshman in 2016 and won that first national championship at Clemson under the Dabo Sweeney era, and then had his best season in 2017 statistically. He had, I believe, 669 yards as a sophomore in 2017, although they had a quarterback in Kelly Bryant, who was a running quarterback, and a freshman, another running back, named Travis Etienne. And Travis Etienne, as a freshman, did better than Tavian Feaster as a sophomore. Now, Tavian Feaster was a very, very highly recruited kid. When he came in, people thought he was the next C.J. Spiller, in part because of the number, but even without so, he was just that kind of recruit and that kind of get for Clemson to get. But Travis Etienne seemed to outshine him just a little bit, and then came the 2018 season. Another national championship, this time with a more prolific passing offense under Trevor Lawrence, as opposed to Kelly Bryant. But Travis Etienne, as a sophomore, still and more heavily outshined Tavian Feaster as a junior. So while Feaster won another national championship, his stats went down and had maybe 400 yards recorded in 2018. 
So even though Taven Feaster had taken out a retired number, uh, number 28, who meant a lot to fans and to Dabo and, and everybody of the like, he decided to put his name into the transfer portal. And Taveen Feaster went where of all places? A Clemson's arch-rival South Carolina. You can't make this stuff up, guys. Feaster had also looked at Virginia Tech in conference, but wanted to stay close to home, so he went to play for the Gamecocks. And while a lot of fans, specifically Clemson fans, obviously did not like this move, there was nothing but love given from his teammates and even C.J. Spiller. See, C.J. Spiller, when he gave that number to Tavian Feaster, it was more than just a number and it was more than just a mentor figure. He was a mentor figure and he gave a lot of value to Tavian as a human being and he wanted the best for him as a person. Therefore, C.J. Spiller gave no hard feelings to Tavian and said that he would always be there for him. And that's what you want to see, and that's what you want to hear. Although, C.J. Spiller did say that that number was going to stay retired from here on out. So Tavian played as a senior last year in 2019 in South Carolina. And while he did have better rushing numbers statistically, back up to 772 yards, I think, um, he didn't receive an invite from the NFL Combine. And some Clemson people said he would have received that invite if he had stayed at Clemson as a senior. Of course, a rivalry never gets old, so perhaps that's just some fun, but at the same time, could be true. While Feaster might have had more personal success at South Carolina, his team didn't do as well. They didn't, did not go to a bowl game, and his last game was played against his former team in Clemson. So while that may not have had as happy an ending as Deshaun Watson paying back Steve Fuller, it doesn't take anything away from that being the best way to honor a player if you're wearing their retired number. Maybe Debo Sweeney felt like he needed to do this for Tavian when he came in because he had done it for Deshaun. When he came in, it was Deshaun's last year and Tavian's first year. I don't know if that's the reason, but it's definitely a possibility. Either way, Clemson knows what they're doing when it comes to that. If you're going to take a number out of retirement, put a patch on and people will look and find out who these people are. And that is the absolute best way to honor a former player, especially if you're wearing their number. Do you remember Deshaun or even Tavian wearing that patch while they were at Clemson just a couple years ago? If you do, let me know in the comment section down below, especially if I answer that question if you were curious like me. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and subscribe for more in-depth college football content. We talk about teams, trends, and traditions to logos, history, and predictions. That's all for College Football Media. Until next time, be goody now.